I work in pro bono because every single one of my clients has been discriminated against because they're trans and it's unacceptable. For example, uh, one of my clients didn't walk the stage to accept the highest academic award in her school district because the presiding official refused to read her chosen name and instead intended to humiliate and exclude her by reading the name recorded on her birth certificate. A really good day at work for me in pro bono is getting the right outcome for the client and having the client be thankful that they're not in jail or they're reunified with their children or that their name has been legally changed to reflect who they are. Another of my clients uh, had an uncontested name change case before a judge and the judge asked him to confirm that he was anatomically a female and that allowing him to change his name to one typically associated with the male gender would make him a danger to society. So uh, there's a lot of challenges that we face in this work, but there's also a lot of joy. I've been with my clients when they've burst into happy tears at having something that cisgender people take for granted, which is simply identification documents that accurately reflect who they are. So they can take their social security card to their new employer or show their ID to get a drink at a bar without having to fear the result that that simple transaction might bring about. I think people should know about pro bono that there's lots of opportunities and you can uh, be very entrepreneurial about what pro bono work you do and figure out what matters to you. And here at Shook, they allow you to do that. But I would just encourage others to get involved. You don't need any expertise or experience to get involved in pro bono work. I had neither of those when I got started, but picked it up along the way.